The word of the day, color. This video is the second part of our color tools series. In our previous video, we took an in-depth look at the color picker, but some things have slightly changed with our latest update. This tab is now divided into four sections. The color widget reflects this change as well. And the most important development is the color palettes tab. Now you can add, edit, and create unlimited color palettes for your projects. First, let's tap on this plus button here and see our options. If we tap on create, an empty palette is generated for you to customize however you want. So by pressing on this plus here, you're adding the current color that you're working with. In my case, it's this yellow hue. But let's populate our palette even further. And I'm going to use the eyedropper tool for that. Let's go back. Tap on plus, there you go. And you can do this on and on and on and on. But let's look at importing our palettes. There are three ways that you can do this. One, if you start sketching in another software like Procreate, or all your palettes are in Procreate, and you wanna switch your workflow to Vectornator, then you can simply drag and drop any palette from one tool to the other. So I've got Procreate in split screen. Here I see all my palettes. And now I can just drag and drop them into the palettes tab in Vectornator. Bam. I have a whole new palette waiting for me to work with. Thinking ahead of our next import mode, I am first going to export this palette here to my device and you'll see in a minute why. The second option is to import .swatches or .ase files directly from your device or iCloud drive. If you're designing for a client with its unique brand colors, for example, this will be super useful. Okay, now that we have a bunch of palettes here, managing them becomes crucial. So these three dots help you delete, rename, or set palettes as primary in order for you to stay neat and organized with your assets. If I rename this one as Spring and I need it for my next project, all I need to do is look it up using the search bar up top. And there it is. Looking for a different palette, we've got you covered. What's more, anything that we set as primary, which you can do by tapping this option here, will also reside in the color picker itself. So you don't have to constantly go back and forth between tabs. Easy access, easy workflow. And if we take a peek into the inspector, then you'll be able to find it here as well. What if you want to move colors around from one palette to the other? Simply drag and drop them around as you wish. Easy. Now, remember we had three ways to import palettes. If you have your file manager open, you can just long press and select any palettes that you want and just drag them to the palettes tab where they are immediately recognized. Let's add a few more. Okay, last cool thing I want to show you. With the latest update, you can sync all your assets through iCloud. So any palettes that you created, or any custom brushes as a matter of fact, are now available across your Apple devices. Just make sure that you have iCloud Sync enabled in Preferences. And now, when I'm on my iPhone, I can see all the palettes that I imported, created, renamed, and all that jazz. So you can switch between devices without skipping a beat. Cool, right? That was it for this Academy episode. Next up, more color tutorials, so stay tuned for that.